but we are going to go ahead and get started because I do want to start on time. Uh, Brother William, I am going to ask you please, because Minister Brown is one of the people <laughs> that are running behind. So do you mind leading us in a word of prayer? And my ensemble, get ready because we're going to open up with a praise song. All right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We know that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So Lord, we just thank you for a successful recital today. God, ask you that your presence be here. Ask that your anointing be felt. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, as we spring into music today, that your blessing will be upon us. And we just acknowledge you and honor you in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'd love to have you just joining in with us. Song by Richard Smallwood called Holy.
the children. They are indeed um, just so talented and gifted. I did want to share a couple of statistics with you about music as we wait. Did you know, did you know that music teaching helps achieve underachievers? In Rhode Island, researchers studied eight public schools' first grade classes. Half of the classes became, woo, I need to stand in some light. <laughs> Half of the classes became test arts groups, receiving ongoing music and visual arts training. In kindergarten, this group had lagged behind in scholastic performance. After seven months, the students were given a standardized test. The test arts group had caught up to the fellow students in reading and surpassed their classmates in math by 22%. In the second year of the project, the arts students widened this margin even further. Students were also evaluated on attitude and behavior. Classroom teachers noted improvement in these areas also. Did you know students who were exposed to the music-based lesson scored a full 100% higher on fraction tests than those who learned in the conventional manner? Second grade and third grade students were taught fractions in an unconditional manner by teaching them basic rhythm notation. The group was taught about the relationships between eighth, quarter, half, and whole notes. Their peers received traditional fraction instruction. So the ones that received the training from the music study scored a full 100% higher on fractions. Wow. One more. Did you know that music majors are the most likely group of college grads to be admitted to medical school? Physician and biologist Lewis Thompson studied the undergraduate majors of medical school applicants. He found that 60% of music majors who applied to med school were admitted. The highest percentage of any group, you would think something like biology or chemistry would be the, the, the major, but music uh, majors were 60% admitted into medical school. Mom, Dad, would you please stay with me? My favorite school subject is math. Two things that I enjoy doing most are spending time with my family and friends and reading. My proudest moments this year were when I got a flag on both of my ages and moved up to juniors and girl scouts. I will be performing the hot, the hot box band and do the girl for this season.
Thank you. Thank you. My favorite subject in school is math. Two things I enjoy doing most are playing the piano and dancing. Two of my favorite moments are when I got an award signed by the President Joe Biden and became a global citizen for showing respect. I will be playing the elevator and glory be to God on how for you this afternoon. Thank you.
I also took music lessons from her mother years ago. <laughs> so when I first saw her, I couldn't stop calling her Robin. But anyway, I've really enjoyed working with Iris. She's been a lot of support for me and trying to you know, keep me calm. So today I am going to play for you a song that was written in 1938 by two European Jewish immigrants to this country who were looking forward to enjoying greater things here than they had in their own country. And this tune was also used for a very popular um, movie, The Wizard of Oz, which I've never watched all the way through. <laughs> never. Anyway, Judy Garland sang this song and made it pop. So I hope you'll hold me in your most positive thoughts while I do this and enjoy.
My favorite subject is math. Two things that I enjoy the most are finishing my multiplication class and receiving good news from my first report card. I will be playing deep sea diving in my McDonald's for you this year.
Hello, my name is Makaya Brown. I am 15 years old. I'm the son of Robin and Clayton Brown. Can y'all please stand with me? <laughs> my favorite subject is math. Uh, the things I enjoy doing is basketball and socializing. My proudest moments this year would be I made good grades and I and me doing piano. <laughs> I will be performing Joy to the World and Diamond and Poem.
everybody, every single student did an awful job. Thank you so much for supporting our students. Um, could, um, Pam, would you bring me that? Um, yes, because I don't want to forget anybody when I start thanking. Thank you so much. All right, so <clears throat> I want to um, just publicly thank everyone for um, your participation. Uh, I want Tanya Stokes to stand, who was our soloist, <laughs> accompanied by her brother. Robin Strayhorn, my mother. Just wait a minute. Job, Mom. Thank you. I, I was going to say that's where it all started with me, but it was actually my grandfather who, um, who got us really into music. He played and sang, and uh, my mom took it on, and, and I started tinkling on the piano. She said, you know what? Let me go get you some lessons, because I was playing by ear, and, which is great. You know, it's great to be able to do both. But she, she um, was determined that I, I learn um, the, the proper way to play music. So I, I thank you for that, Mom. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> David Johnson, stand please. Thank you, awesome tenor, thank you so much. And not only did he sing tenor, but he helped me. He arranged the chairs. He just did, uh, he was so gracious in doing everything logistically that I need. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Christian, my son, Christian Day, stand up, son, get out of that phone. Stand up. Our drummer, and he helped me with so much today. Thank you so much, Christian. All right, um, I want to thank my pastor, Pastor Wilson, uh, and the McLeansville First Baptist Church for opening up its doors to allowing me to host this event. Um, I want to thank Mr. William Stokes. Please stand. Pull out Thank you so much. This is the father of William Stokes. All right, and I want to thank Shirley Corpany, who stood at the door and was our greeter. Thank you so much, Shirley. All right, I do have certificates for each of the children. Um, yes, thank you. And I just want to read one, so I'll pass them out at the end. It says, uh, this certificate of achievement is presented to um, your student for your outstanding performance in Spring Into Music holiday piano recital. You are destined for greatness. Given this, the fourth day of December, 2021. Again, I want to say thank you all for coming. Thank you to the students. Thank you to the parents for your continued support. Just, you know, they're taking so much of the arts and music out of school due, due to funding shortages. Um, it, it's just a shame because this is, I mean, honestly, this like music and, and all of um, church. I mean, this is actually, church is where people got the beginning of their public speaking. You know, their training ground for public speaking. Um, so I, I'm thankful that that's, this is how I was brought up. I don't, I'm not ashamed of it. I love my church. Thank you, Mom, for bringing me up in church. You know, there's, there's so much right, even though we got some stuff to fix. But um, we're, we're trudging right along. Yes, we do. We got some stuff to fix. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so at the end, I, I just want to, uh, we're going to end by all of us singing a Christmas song. Uh, most of you probably are familiar with it, but just in case you're not, <laughs> I have the lyrics in the back, and I, I just want us to stand and join together in song, closing us out after my sister Robin comes to close us out with prayer. Since she didn't make the opening prayer, sis, I'm going to uh, have you to close us out in prayer, and um, we'll end with this song. Thank you so much again for coming.